Good afternoon, how are you? I hope you're doing okay right now. Welcome to Sky Sports F1 uh, Instagram Live. And if you've been watching these, you know we've been trying to talk to as many drivers on the current Formula One grid as possible. And today's guest is somebody who's been actually, seems to be quite enjoying lockdown. Uh, I'm sure they want to get back racing, but uh, they've said they've been quite enjoying it. Let's find out if he's still enjoying it because hopefully... He's going to request to join any second now and we'll be able to talk to him. Uh, loads and loads of you have been getting your questions in. Thank you so much for all the questions. We'll get through as many as we possibly can in this uh, quick session this afternoon. I'm just waiting for him to request and we should be able to. You can keep sending some questions through now. We'll try and get to those as well for you. Um, but as you know, speaking to the drivers on the grid, we have got this afternoon, hopefully we will have Lando Norris any second. I need him to request to join the video and then we will be away. I'm just gonna send a quick message and see if we can get in to this. So um, let's have a quick look. And hopefully he will be here with us any second now. When is F1 starting? It's already mid-season. We're hoping to go racing in uh, Austria in July. That is still the plan at the moment. So hopefully it'll be uh, 5th, 5th of July, I believe, in Austria. We will be getting underway, but we're still waiting to have everything confirmed for us. Um, so let's just see where he is. I thought he was good at all this technology. Where is he this afternoon? Going to be joining us any second now. Hopefully we will have him there. Let's have a look. Ah, oh, awesome. He's doing it now. Lando's Wi-Fi is probably broken. That's, that's harsh. That's harsh. And see if that is the case. And see as we wait. And hopefully he will pop up at the bottom of the screen any second now. There we go. Yay. Hello. <laughs> Some How are you? Lando's Wi-Fi broken. Is it bad? Is my, no, it's is my, good. We've got is you. Right? Yeah, we've Very got good. you now. How are you doing? Um, I'm good, thanks. Uh, yeah, enjoying the British sun. I've um, just been doing some training, but um, yeah, don't know what else really. Same as past two months. Can you tilt your camera down a tiny bit for us so we can see your head? There's so many questions, yeah. so many questions coming through for you from all the fans. Um, you mentioned that you're quite, you're quite like lockdown. You're kind of used to it. I mean, yeah. I mean, I'm, I get to, to stream on Twitch talk with my friends and play on my simulators all day so uh no, it's a great time i mean obviously there's still a lot of other things i'd I prefer to do and um and so on and uh, of course i would love to get back in the car uh, at the same time and get back driving and, and travel the world but then um yeah i mean i'm lucky compared to a lot of other people um you know i have a nice garden i have a simulator i, I still get to do a lot of things uh which are pretty cool to do so um, yeah, I mean, I still have a lot of fun. I still, uh, I'm doing things that I love, and uh, and I guess yeah, I'm I'm lucky because I get to be in that kind of situation better than than other people. And a couple of people have said turn your volume down on your. You've got a little bit of feedback. You can turn your volume down on your phone a tiny bit. If that's oh, possible. you can hear the phone. Yeah, we can hear it coming back. Um, when I was looking through this, I was looking through, and you have so many fan accounts. Do you ever look? I mean, uh, I don't just type in Lando Norris <laughs> fan accounts. I mean, I do because um, uh, I get obviously I get to see all the things people tag me in. So uh, I see all the, ta the you know the videos and photos and and all the posts that uh, that a lot of people tag me in. Obviously, I can't see all of them because there is a lot of them, which is a, a cool thing. Um, but I do because there are a lot of um, you know people there supporting me, and I have. Um, my uh you know, I stream pretty much every day or near enough every other day um and twitch and you know I have a lot of viewers and a lot of people that are there every day supporting me and and are having fun and, and so on and chatting to each other so I uh yeah I mean I don't know every single one of them but um the the more the better and I think it's, it's a cool thing to see you know people supporting you and coming up with these these cool drawings or these cool pictures or whatever they do um, whatever they can do, I think it's uh, yes, it's a nice thing to have. They find some classic photos too, don't they? Can you see that? I can. That was. Like a long time ago. Twenty fourteen. 
Oh no. And then this one I like as well. He looks so tiny compared to the others. I do. Like, okay, here you can just see me, but I have the, the whole picture from all of us, and uh, it's Max Mutual to my left, so one of my good mates, and Kodjic to the right, another one of my mates. Uh, and then my brother's to the, 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 like, two to the left, and he's like the right. almost tallest, I think. Um, and there's a couple of others, and it's literally me a long way below anyone else. Um, but I remember this is a, I remember this race. Um, I have a lot of good memories from karting, so yeah, times have flown by over the past know, six years since then. It's, 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 been fun. it's got quite windy in your garden as well. I'm gonna miss, I'm gonna miss it at the moment to see how we get on. We've been watching you on Twitch a lot and uh, your comments. You were chatting to Charles when Carlos signed for Ferrari. You sent him a message saying you've stolen my teammate. Yes. There's been some good entertainment. Um, there has. There's been a lot of times, especially now Charles is streaming as well. Um, there's been a, a lot of good moments, and not just with him, obviously, but with, with George and Alex and uh, a lot of the drivers. Um, is it is it really too windy? Like it's, it is quite windy. Yeah. Hmm. It stopped for a second. We'll Wait, let me go goes. behind the wall. Let me go behind the wall. Here. Okay. Well, we've seen inside your house, so now we get to see your garden as well. Is that better now? Yeah, um, we can hear you. Uh, yeah, there's been a lot of good times. Obviously, the races and, and not just playing on the F1 game, but we do some of the, I don't know whether it's FIFA or, or Rocket League or Call of Duty or whatever it is. Um, yeah, we get to kind of be more normal, let's say, and not have to, to drive race cars and stuff. Um, but we have had a lot of good laughs and fun times, which is... Uh, yeah, been one of the enjoyable parts of this whole time, I guess. Um, I saw a story, uh, Zach talking about um, supporting a Bathurst 1000 entry for you and Daniel, maybe. Is that something you fancy? I mean, I would love to. I mean, I've been, I've been driving that car a few times now, not never in real life, but on the simulator. Um, and it's quite a, I mean, it's a very different to Formula One. It's like the complete opposite. Uh, I mean, I would say NASCAR is a complete opposite of Formula One. But, um, yeah, this is, is quite a beast, obviously very heavy, um, very little aerodynamics. Uh, you have to drive it in a very different way to a Formula One car. So um, it's super, yeah, super fun to drive at the same time. Um, I think Bathurst is one of the tracks everyone would love to drive at at one point in their, their career. Um, and I've never driven there before. So um, I would love to, I think, especially with Danny Rick, it'll be, uh, it'll be pretty cool. Um, but even whoever it's with, it doesn't have to be with, with Danny. Uh, it can be with any driver, even even Zach, maybe. Um, yeah, I would love to do it at one point, but uh, it depends how it fits into the schedule and, and what opportunities there are to, to be able to do it. And you're doing um, a virtual more 24 hours with Matt as well. Are you going to do the full experience? Are you going to be sitting on chairs at home and stuff for an hour to do the three sits? Um, yeah, I mean, we'll, we'll do it properly. We'll have a strategist, we'll have... Um, you know, guys staying up throughout the whole night, pretty much um, spotting and doing our fuel and doing our strategy. And it's, I mean, people are taking it seriously, and especially the, the longer races like this. You know, there's a lot of these one hour races or half an hour races, but then um, the 24 hour race, which is coming up, is pretty big, and you're getting a lot of drivers. Um, I think it's like two real life drivers and then two sim drivers who are having to do it. Um, and, uh, yeah, there's a lot of, you know, a, a very good mixture of a lot of very, very fast sim drivers and a, a lot of very good um, real drivers. So um, I think it's going to be cool. It's a, it's a big opportunity for kind of both worlds to come together um, strongly. Um, but we take it seriously and, uh, you know, we spend a lot of time practicing and, and trying to get in the hang of it. Um, you know, be driving on for well, however many stints you normally have to do, whether it two hours or three hour stints. Um, you know, be sleeping for maybe three hours or four hours, then you have to do a, a stint in the middle of the night. So, uh, yeah, it's literally, you know, you have to take it pretty much as you would have to do a real 24 hour, um, which is cool. And I've only done one of them in, in, in Daytona in LMP2. And, uh, and it was one of the coolest things I've ever done. So I, I, yeah, I look forward to giving it another, another crack. Yeah. I remember Fernando saying he was really impressed actually your performance in Daytona. Yes. I mean, that's quick then. Um, <laughs> Uh, no, right, it, let's, it's let's go. Go on. because it's Go so on, different to, to what I was used to. So, 
uh, yeah, to get the opportunity to go and do it was was pretty cool, just because it was is very different to the norm of what I have been doing. But um, yeah, we'll find out soon. All right, I've got loads of questions for you here. Enya has said, "Is there any other race series you'd like to participate in?" I guess is what we're saying. Any really, I think um, I love everyone, and that's where my heart's at, and that's everything I'm, I'm working on, um, and that has priority over every single thing that I do. But um, if I ever get the opportunity to go and do, you know, IndyCar or NASCAR or GTs or anything, um, every every chance I've had to to go and do something like it, I've really enjoyed and I, and I've loved doing it. So. Um, yeah, I mean, it's, it's busy, especially with F1 nowadays, with how many races we have a year um, and pre-season and, and post-season. There's not a lot of time we actually get to, to do a lot of other things. So, um, yeah, I don't know. I would love to. Uh, I enjoy driving everything else. But, uh, yeah, F1 is my, my goal and my priority. Someone's just messaged and said, can you water your lawn, please, Lando? <laughs> I've tried. It's quite dry. I've got one, I've got a tap, right? But do you know how long it takes to water a lawn? And it does very little unless you water it every single day. It's how tough. are you doing it? What, watering my lawn? Yeah. Well, I don't have one of the, you know, the, the attachments on it. Sprinklers. So I just put my thumb over it and just... <laughs> that would take you a long time. Well, exactly. Right. <laughs> I'm not gardener. Cat's <laughs> message and said, "Are you planning on designing any new merchandise?" Um, kind. I don't know really. Um, yes and no. I think um, there's a lot of other things going on at the moment which we're trying to sort out, and obviously my priority is to kind of make sure we're ready for the beginning of the season, um, and making sure we have a good plan for you know when we can go back to the factory and start working on things properly and get back in the simulator and and so on. Um, but still with taking a, you know, a lot of precautions, um, wherever we go. So, um, I, I will, but it's not like at the top of the list at the moment. There's a lot of other things I'm having to, to work through. Um, but I do because a lot of people love the, the stuff I, I kind of put out and we put out as a team for McLaren side, from my side. Um, but yeah, there's nothing in the pipeline like coming up soon. But uh, as soon as we get the opportunity to kind of do some more stuff, then, uh, then we will. I've got a, one from Danny Herbert. Yeah, actually, a lot of people have asked this. Has Carlos the Squirrel been back? Carlos the Squirrel? He has not today. I think it's too sunny for him. Um, <laughs> Are you still yeah. talking to him? He's a, what, Carlos? <laughs> the Squirrel. <laughs> uh, no, I mean, I've seen him maybe like four times. I'm guessing it's the same Squirrel. I don't really know. Uh, but I've seen like four times, he always comes up to my window here and uh, and keeps like trying to get inside. So maybe I'll leave it open and I'll have a squirrel in my house. See? I, I could tell him from looking inside your fridge the other day, it's not worth going into your house. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, that was, a, that was a crazy fridge. I mean, that's, they all drink those little cartons and then the rest are all meals. Yes, pretty much. That's, yeah, not the most fancy fridge, but. It's all I, all I need to survive, so. Well, you Good say that, but there's a common theme in some of the questions. Do you think you'll ever successfully cook a meal without forgetting it's in the oven? The only reason JD watches Twitch is to laugh at the moment you realise you forgot the oven was on. Uh, Gaia and James also want to know why do you always burn your food? Well, because I, yeah. <laughs> um, <laughs> I mean, I even did it last night again. Um, oh. uh, uh, I don't know, because I'm always... It's always like dinner that I normally ruin because um, I'm, I mean, I'm streaming on Twitch and we'll be like playing a game and we're chatting and obviously then time flies because you're in the game and it's like a you know 25 minute game or something or you're in a race and uh, I always pop it on. It's normally 10 or 15 minutes. So um, we do it. I, I always say to myself, well, I'll, me I'll remember this time. I'm going to, I'll make sure I get it. And then I think after five minutes, right? All right, still 10 minutes to go. I, I got this, I got this. And then the next time I look at my watch, it's been like half an hour. And then I'm like, mm, you can smell smoke. Not looking good. Um, and even yesterday was actually a lot worse than that. It was one and a half hours later that I remember I had my food in the oven. So uh, it didn't really look like food anymore. But I know I, Siri does a good job when I ask him to put a, uh, 
when I asked you to yeah. put a, um, a timer on, but uh, I don't always remember to put a timer on, so I struggle with these things. I'm pleased. I'm amazed you survived, Lando. I know, um, I am. People are, a lot of people are asking me about lychees. What's the lychee story? Lychee? Yeah. Oh, oh this, is, this is new. Uh, this was yesterday. Um, I have these, these fruit pots, um, and uh, for the first time ever, there was a lychee in it, which is apparently a fruit, Yeah. which is apparently really nice, but I didn't want it. I'm, I'm, I'm very picky with my foods. I can't, I, you know, I'm, if there's something nice that I like, I kind of just always stick to that. Like margarita pizza, best pizza you can do is just a, a standard plain margarita or, and it's just, once I kind of like something, that's all I go for. I don't like trying new stuff. So when I have a nice bowl of fruit with some melon, some kiwi, some strawberries, and then there's this new thing in the top, a lychee. Apparently, that's how you pronounce it. I'm just, yes. it's not for me. You know, I put it to the side. I'm just happy with my strawberries, my melon, my kiwi, and my, and my, my watermelon. So I just stick with that. And I don't know, I'm, I'm just a very picky um picky eater really <laughs> um lots of lots of people asking the favorite thing you've done during lockdown or have you picked up any new skills no the only thing i've found is that i don't have much skill in many things uh no cooking um no i found i'm, I'm quite talentless in a lot of areas and that I should only really stick to driving. That's all I've really learned from this whole time. <laughs> hey, listen, at least you know. You've covered it off. Uh, yeah, exactly. Did you sort out the ghost in your room that knocked up a helmet off the windowsill? Oh, that scared me. Um, <laughs> it, was, yeah. it was spooky if you didn't know. I guess the window was open. The window's open because when I'm streaming and then I have my camera, so then it's too bright if I, it's out if I uh, leave my, my blinds uh, up. So then... Um, I have to shut them, but then it gets too hot. So I have to open my window. But then when I put my window and my blinds down, then the blind always flies about. So I need to do some DIY and put some like Velcro strips down it so that it sticks shut because my blinds just fly open all the time when I, um, uh, when I keep them down. So um, if I have my helmets in front, leave my window open, but the blinds down, then sometimes there's a little gust of wind and then boom, game over for the helmets. So, uh, yeah, I, I just I need have to a, I'll do some DIY in a bit. Judging by your cooking and your gardening, I would get someone else in. It's not going to look good, is it? <laughs> <laughs> um, right, okay. What will you miss most about Carlos when he leaves? That's from Umar Ron Cars. Um, what will I miss most? I don't know, really. I mean, we just had a lot of good laughs. I, I don't know what it's like to have another teammate in Formula One. It's obviously a very different atmosphere to F2 and F3 and everything like that. So um, I've always got on well with my teammates um, since since karting pretty much. And I think the reason we both got on so much is just because we both enjoyed, um, we both enjoy just where we are, so, you know, in being in Formula One, in McLaren. Um, we just, you know, we worked well together. We wanted to help each other, but we also, everyone knows that we wanted to beat each other. So it was a, it was a good kind of relationship slash competitive relationship that we had. And um, I think that's just why it turned out as good as it did. Um, I don't know. I guess I just miss, miss him talking Spanish to me and me not having an absolute clue what he's on about sometimes. Uh, I don't know. It's hard to know, I think, until I get, you know, a new teammate, then it's it's hard to know really what you're going to miss um, until, you know, the, the changes actually happen. So uh, I guess this is probably a question for next year on uh, on what I, what I miss about when he's going to Ferrari. Have you got a favourite memory at the moment? I know we've got still a year to run, but have you got a favourite memory at the moment of something you've done together? Uh, I don't know. I don't know if there's an all out... Can I show you my favourite one of you guys? Okay. All the milk. <laughs> this looks so bad. I don't want to watch it. It was, it, was, it was kind of the moment where Carlos thought, do you know what? I don't want to win this. I'd rather just cover you in milk. Yeah. That, yeah. It's such a Carlos thing to do. <laughs> you knew it. 
<laughs> it's one of the best videos ever that I watched. Even though I hate watching videos of me, I, I couldn't stop laughing when I was watching this. I don't know um, anyone who watched it and not laughed. Yeah, they had to have done. I loved it. Um, I don't know what my best moment is. This was, there's just uh, there's been so many really, um, like going bowling in in Japan and uh, just while traveling, um, going to different places, PR events, um, the factory for the launch uh, in 2019 and 2020. Um, there's just been a lot of fun times that we've that we've uh, that we've had. I don't know what my number one is. I'd have to kind of go back through everything, but um, yeah, it's just, it's been a pleasure being able to, to work with him. Obviously we've still got a bit more or quite a few more races this season that we have to, to kind of get through um, and still work together on. So uh, yeah, we'll, we'll keep working hard and, and having some, some more good laughs. What I worry for you is with Carlos, I feel like he's a little bit older brother. With yeah. Daniel, he's a much older and a little bit more mischievous brother. Yeah. I know, I know. I know what to, I think I know what to expect from Daniel, but I don't know. I think, again, it's, it's hard to know what to expect until you're really there because, um, you know, before last year, no one had the same, really had the same look on Carlos. Um, as well, they did, uh, sorry, in 2018, no one really had the same perspective of Carlos, re really, until uh, until last year. And then, uh, you know, he really shone a lot more and his personality came out a lot more, um, which uh, I want to say is a, a bit down to to me and, like, how open I was as a teammate and, and stuff like that. Um, but, uh, you know, there was never these memes about Carlos in, in 2018 or, or before that, and then... 19 and 20 everything kind of exploded a lot more so um from the outside you never really know what to expect or really know much about a driver until you work with them um and that was the same for me on, on carlos i didn't really know anything about him uh, i never spoken to him before until we, we met for the first time uh in mclaren at the beginning of 2019 so or the end of 18 um and obviously then everything went really well and we had a lot of good times so um it's the same with Daniel. Obviously, I know Daniel a little bit more than, than what I knew Carlos kind of going into the season and what will be going into 2021. But um, there's still a lot of things, obviously, I don't know and how he works and um, and how sneaky he is with things and, and uh, yeah, more behind the scenes kind of stuff. So, um, yeah, I'll find out. I'll find out next year. Someone suggested you check with Max for some inside stories on Daniel. And then someone else has given you a marriage proposal, Lando. <laughs> <laughs> um, no, Max, Max gives me a lot of good tips, actually. Uh, he actually knew a lot about Carlos. Um, he knows a lot about Daniel. So, um, I don't know, that's part of it. You know, it's getting to know your teammates. And uh, as much as sometimes you want to get along, and sometimes they don't. Um, you want to know what their, their weaknesses are, what their strengths are, and so on. So, if, if anyone uh, can tell me them, then I guess that's just a, a benefit. But... Uh, yeah, it's always a mixture, you know, you you want to have fun and enjoy your time in Formula One. Um, and that's what I want to do. But at the same time, everyone knows you have to work with your teammate well and as as a team. Um, but everyone also knows that your your most, you know, the, your biggest competitor is also your teammate. So, um, yeah, it's going to be tough. There's going to be a lot of things I need to learn from Daniel. But uh, I don't know, whoever has tips on um, what makes Daniel uh, angry. I'm sure Max will, will be the, the guy to, to ask. Brilliant. Listen, um, I've got a couple more I've got to get through just before we finish. Someone, um, Scott Dan says, it's time to attempt a tash, a moustache. Let that upper lip go free, he says. Not going to happen. Nah, not going to happen. Taking 20 years to get this bad boy. Hmm? How's the hair under the hat? How is it? It's, it's right, getting there. I don't know, I've been work I've just done my workout, so it's not as good. But it's, it's, I thought it would grow back a lot quicker than what it has. I thought by now it would be back to normal, long hair, but uh, or long, longish, short, long hair, but it's not. So, do you want to? Know I mean, I, d I don't regret my decision of doing what I did, but uh, yeah, I just expected it to, to grow back a bit quicker than it has. But um, yeah. I don't really mind. 
the bad news is that hairdressers will open, but after we've all left for Austria at the rate it's going at the moment. Yeah, and um, yeah. I mean, I did a good job cutting my own hair, so I might reattempt it. Good Could stuff. Go very wrong. Well, weirdly, there's a website that's all about you, uh, or a page that's all about you on the internet. And under haircut, it says trendy. Really? Yeah. You didn't know that, did you? I know. I... <laughs> no, I didn't. To say right. So. I've got another one for you here. Would you rather go on a date with Emma Stone or spend the weekend eye racing with George Russell and Charles Leclerc from Car Crazy Ad Emma Stone? Well, or your favourite actress. You have a favourite actress. Uh, I'm... Um... I, I, I guess my favourite actress, right? <laughs> I would say so, yeah. yeah I mean, opportunity to do lot... that, but pretty much every night to uh, to play an iRacing, so yeah. I'd have to take the shot, I think. <laughs> um, who's more annoying when streaming, Alex or George from Felix? Alex or George? Um, George. Why? Alex is all right. Alex... Oh, George loves a little complaint every now and then. <laughs> uh, no, but George is, like, lately George has done a really, I mean, George has got much quieter because we're having a lot of fun. And then and George really started taking this whole F1 stuff a bit too seriously for my liking. And um, he started, you know, being a very sweaty sim racer who spends a lot of hours testing, um, way more than what I spend. So, I mean, lately I haven't really done that much, but now George is hardcore. He's a hardcore sim racer. And, um, you know, he's, he's always muted in the voice chats because he's just concentrating so much. Um, so George has, got, George has gone downhill, whereas Alex has, you know, gone up. Um, just my personal opinion, that's all. But uh, <laughs> I don't know, we've, we've, we, you know, we have a lot of good times together, even when we do more kind of fun stuff and not the serious stuff as much. But uh, I don't know. They both can be annoying, but it's it's rare. It's more more laughs that we that we uh, that we have than anything else. A lot of people talking about Call of Duty or racing. Very at the moment. Uh, hmm. I'm gonna have to say COD. Like, yeah, I don't know why. At the moment, COD is just good fun. I'm getting you know I I'm lucky. I get a lot of opportunities now to play with some. Um, much bigger streamers um, over the last few days, um, which is really cool. And even for me, yeah, for me, I guess, um, to play with people, you know, I've been watching for, for years and you watch streaming every day and you, know, you laugh at while watching. Um, I now get the opportunity to, you know, play with them and, and, uh, and it's really good fun. So, um, yeah, I guess, I guess that. But this, it's not like I don't like racing. Um, it's just, I also enjoy, yeah, playing Rocket League or FIFA, not FIFA, I don't like FIFA because I'm, I'm so rubbish at it, but like Rocket League or COD, um, yeah, I have, you know, just as many laughs on that at the, at the same time, but it's just a different type of skill that you need and it kind of almost challenges you more than, than, uh, than driving does. So it's just something different. It's relaxing. It's good fun. Um, but yeah. Cod at the moment is uh, is what I enjoy doing a little bit more. And the finally last one from me. Lots of people asking about Soy Lago. I know that it means I'm a lake or I'm the lake, but lots of people where it came from originally. Where it came from? It was um pre-season was testing. Yeah. Sorry. Was it when you two were on the pit wall? Like, yeah, it was. Yeah. We were we were on the pit wall. I come. We were talking about something, or we were just chatting, and uh, I don't know. He tried to teach me some French. Uh, oh, French. <laughs> trying to teach me some Spanish, Carlos. Uh, and I was just saying all the words. He asked me, like, what, what other Spanish words do I know? And it was just like, you know, my name is Lando and a few other things. Very limited Spanish that I know. And uh, the only other thing I knew was Soy Lago, which doesn't even make sense. But it's what I put together. And that, I'm a lake is the translation. <laughs> So, yeah, I don't know why, but uh, that was the only thing that I could really think of was that I, I'm a lake. 
Listen, Lado, thank you very much for joining us. We look no forward problem. to more fun with you and Carlos for the rest of the season. And then Absolutely. long live to you Daniel as well. Look after yourself. And hopefully we'll see you soon at a track. Yeah, I look forward Don't to it. Thank you very much. Don't Cheers, everyone. <laughs> Cheers. Take care. Bye. Great stuff from Lando Norris. Big thank you to him and to McCarran for his time this afternoon. Hope you enjoyed hearing him chat. And uh, we will be back very soon with another guest here on Sky Sports F1. Look after yourselves. Take care and we'll see you soon. Bye-bye.